deep signal right out of that hole about five or six inches down little flat button cuff button nothing on that one definitely speaks to the age though and here's something you always hate to see at the bottom of a nine inch hole Back up against the woods here, I just got a real light signal, 61, dug down about four inches. Came up with a little two-hole button, and there's a little pattern on it. I don't think it's terribly old, but still a good sign. There's some signals in the ground. All right, we'll, we'll keep moving through here. There's some thick woods, and run along the edge of it. We'll see what comes out. Well, out of the bottom of that hole, which is coming up on a foot deep, this just came out. What in the world is that? It's pretty broken up. It feels like a lead back and there was pins here. It's about the size, I'd say it's about the size of a bridal rosette. Wow, maybe there's more of it down in the hole. I will double check, but that's pretty cool. That looks period to me. We'll take it. Another signal, only about an inch down right there. Ring really loud, 72. And I think I've got the, I think I've got a concave flat button here. You can see the, where the shank might have been in the middle. I don't know if there's any decoration or any type of fanciness on it, but I think that's what it is. All right, moving on. Well, I'm in here working this field here, this uh, field that was cut last fall. And I'm in here right now with the XP Deus and the little high frequency elliptical coil. So I got the speakers on so you can hear all the iron in this field that I'm dealing with. And I'm just going around looking for diggable signals. Ended up with one right over here. Yeah, that's a very diggable signal. All right, we'll open up the hole and see what we've got. Okay, well, we got down to this signal. It wasn't all that deep, maybe four inches. Looks like an old spoon handle. Silver plated at one time. Very ornate. Oh, we'll clean it up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Well, I just pulled up a flat button here. You can see this shank is smashed down. And it's kind of odd shaped. It has a little dimple on the front there. Looks like a little flying saucer flat button. That's pretty neat. I might need to clean that up, see if there's a back mark on it. Never seen one like that before. I got down about seven inches or so with this one and that's a poncho grommet yep that's exactly what that is all right well we'll keep working through here see if we can't find something we missed before stay tuned Well, I've stepped out into this field. It's a little more grown up. Hasn't been cut in a while, but uh, got a decent signal here, about five, six inches down. I see a little round object here. Oh, it's real thin. Yeah, we've got a flat button with a broken shank. A little cuff button. Boy, look how pretty green that is. All right, we'll keep moving along. Okay, real uh, nice signal here. It was real shallow. It was up in the plug here. Looks like we've got a little pistol ball. Yeah, that's an old one. 
Yeah, I just flipped the plug up on this signal. About five inches down, I got something brass here. I'm guessing it's gonna be a lantern part. It looks like it's kind of smashed. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. That's where the wick goes through on an old oil lamp. All right. Well, just working along the inside edge of this woods. It's a little brushy, but not as bad as it is in the summertime. Hey, I got a nice circular object right down here. A good signal, too. That is not a shotgun shell. Ground is still a little bit frozen right there. Yeah, big flat button. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything on it. Still, nice big flat button. Let's see if we can get this off of there. Yeah, there's a shank there. Yeah, beautiful. This thing's got some age on it for sure. Shank is a little folded over. Beautiful.